What up, YouTube? Topaz J10. I got a pretty good show lined up for you today, man. First, we're going to jump into the news. Then, we're going to jump into this review for this B.O.B. and London J joint. Then, we're going to take an article from DownloadPaz.com. But before then, let's do a brief instrumental from underground producer J Tracks. <music> So the Billboard chart for this past week just popped up, man, in which coming in at number three overall on the Billboard charts and number one for the hip hop charts is Logic selling 118,000 units, man. And he beat out Jeezy pretty handily, even though he's number four on the charts and such, man, with 98,000, which solid numbers for both of those MCs, man. Hopefully we'll see some consistency out of both of them, man. And looking at Logic seeing as though they haven't really promoted the first one and this next one, not so much, but still, he's selling pretty decent, dude. So I think eventually they're going to pour some damn money in on to see how far he can actually go. But anyway, on to today's review. And today's review is to that B.O.B. and London J, that NASA joint. And you know... It's not much here to actually like about it, man, but there's just a few things. What I liked about it is the fact that B.O.B. isn't turning his back on hip-hop and such, man, because as you see, a lot of other MCs that's pretty damn versatile, that's doing a bunch of different genres and such at the same damn time, say dudes like CeeLo and shit, they stop doing rap altogether. They don't respect the new generation enough to even try to take what they're doing to a whole nother level and make something new and different from it. They just stray away from fucking hip hop. But that's not what B.O.B. is doing here as he teams up with London J, who's one of his MCs on No Genre, man. They put together one of those super commercial trap type mixtapes and such. But Quite honestly, dude, if I wanted to hear something like this, I would have popped in Drake and Fuchsia because they don't do it on that level of what they did and such. And these tracks, really not much to actually like here. First of all, it's entirely produced by Zaytoven, man. And you know, Zaytoven has his moments. He does create some decent singles and such for these trap type rappers and shit, dude. But overall, he's not the type of producer that you go to to produce a full project. Because that's really what you go to super producers for and shit, man. To actually get a bunch of tracks that don't sound the same and shit, but yet they all on the high quality. You have to reach a certain amount of skill in order to do that shit. While Zaytoven, not so much. Like, this entire project damn near sounded the same. I mean, it's disappointing just like that Freddie Gibbs was disappointing, man. Because B.O.B. is the type of MC that can take any genre of music, any style of music, and create something dope and great from it but instead of trying to do that just kind of rolling off of what the commercial industry is fucking doing now and that's some bullshit now the energy that was within that trump song man i kind of like that but overall that track wasn't that damn good and then that paying for pussy i got so much against that motherfucking track dude I mean, they kind of taking it from a direction like all of these old school simp ass motherfuckers would say. Like, if you're going to go out with it, you paying for pussy anyway, so you might as well just give it to him and shit so you can hit that ass. And that's fucking bullshit, you dig? Because whenever I go out with a chick or something and shit, dude... I'm not out there to impress this chick. I'm not spending money on this chick. I am spending money to have my own good time. And this is a very important thing to understand and such, man, because whenever I go out, when I go with that attitude, like, I'm just going to have fun on my own accord, man, and this chick is just along for the ride and shit, then... A lot of other chicks be scooping for your boy and shit, man. And sometimes you may have to kick out the chick that's dealing with you at that moment because she be on some other shit. So if you just out having a ball for yourself and paying for everything you want, whether you get the sex or not, you're not going to be frustrated about that shit. That's some old trick shit. Like if I'm going to pay this money on you, then you got to have sex with me by the end of this day when that's not how shit goes down, dude. I mean, overall, there's a lot of things wrong with this project, man, but I do give it a 3 out of 10 just off the strength of the raw skill that B.O.B. is showing here, but it's not enough to save everything on this bitch. But anyway, on to today's article from DownloadPads.com, and today's article is about maximizing time, because this is fucking important, you did, especially where I'm at right now, I'm on vacation and shit, man, so I don't really be having a chance to get online like I really want to be online, which is why there's only one 
one video dropping today. Shit, my little nephew, man, he loves to be online and watching video games and all of that shit, man. And I'm not going to let him start crying because I got to go ahead and do a fucking video. Nah, I'm just going to wait for the chance where everybody just leave me alone for 10 minutes and then I'm going to make a fucking video. And that's exactly what the fuck is going on. But this is going to happen in your life, whether you on vacation and you need to try to grind or if you got to work and it's like 9 to 5 and shit and you ain't got no time and you tired of shit. You got to take what little bit of time that you got and maximize that shit by being focused on one particular thing and such, dude. Always get your business done because there's no excuses out here in this bitch, dude. Either you get it done or you don't. And if you ain't got enough time, you better use whatever time you got to get that shit right. I hope you enjoyed the show. You can follow me at Twitter up there. And you can go to DownloadPads.com, that's down there, to read today's article.